Good morning and welcome to Lossy Mouth and the beautiful Cow Sea Lighthouse. I've got up bright and early this morning to come and photograph this lighthouse as well as enjoy the beautiful beach scenes that we've got before us. Now I was down here last night actually hosting a workshop and the conditions last night were stunning. We never got that gorgeous, gorgeous sunset but we had nice clear skies, nice hues and colours on the horizon and I wanted to get back up this morning and come here for sunrise to see if the conditions would be different and we've still got nice clear skies, it's reasonably calm um, we're not going to get any beautiful clouds lit up this morning but it's such a gorgeous morning to be out it's so clear, so crisp and it's just stunning and uh, before we get cracking on this morning's photo shoot I thought I would quickly show you a few images that I shot during the, the work workshop last night just to give you an idea of how beautiful it was. And I'm now going to head down to this beach and just enjoy this scene. But before I do that, you can probably see behind me the moon is over here, we've got nice leading lines with these paths through the marram grass and the dunes. I think I'm going to try and photograph that before the sun rises and I photograph the lighthouse. So let's get cracking for this beautiful early morning Monday shoot. So I'm not 100% sure if this image is going to work, but when I arrived here, the first thing that struck me straight away was the moon. And the fact that it's framed up against the beautiful marram grass and the dunes, it's really, really striking this morning. Now, it's in the opposite direction to the sunrise, but in many ways that makes it nice because sometimes when you photograph in the opposite direction, you've got beautiful hues and colours that sort of illuminate and caress the horizon. So what I'm trying to do here, basically, is I'm trying to frame the moon and all of its beauty with some of the leading lines that we've got going through the man-made paths and and lines that go through this, these dune systems and um, try and lead the viewer's eye into the the moon with this composition so i'm starting off with a path it's not that obvious but this path sort of follows around the edge of the sand dune so i can get a little bit of the beach in my scene as well like i said i'm not 100 percent sure if this image is going to work but i'm going to take it nevertheless and i've positioned the moon in the center of the frame and through doing that it's acting as a focal point with a man-made path going towards the the moon and um, the focus of this image. So let's take the shot, see what I think of it, and uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully this will work out. So when I'm doing landscape photography, I like to keep my aperture and shutter speed the same the majority of the time. So I tend to shoot at f11 because I've found that that gives me optimum front to back sharpness within my images. And I also nearly always shoot to ISO 100. But what I was noticing this morning is, as it's not, the sun hasn't risen yet and it's still quite dull, is that there's a little bit of a breeze and it's moving all the grass and that that's around all the sand dunes. And because of that, I was getting a shutter speed of two seconds, which was obviously resulting in the grass being in motion so I've bumped my ISO up this morning to 320 and what that's doing is it's giving me a much faster and sharper shutter speed which is stopping any of the grass moving in the image another thing I've just noticed is that the colors weren't quite doing what I was wanting them to do so I have just put on my polarizing filter and I'm now going to take another image using that and what I'm noticing is because again I'm shooting this in the opposite direction to where the sun is going to be rising the light over there is a beautiful color 
but it wasn't quite showing up on the camera. But by putting on my polarising filter, twisting it round, a lot of the pinks and purples in the sky have really started to pop because of that. So I'm going to retake that image, show you it now, and I've, I'm also going to then zoom in to the scene and see if I can get a different angle of it and try and frame that moon and show off its beauty here this morning. Mm -hmm. This is such a stunning morning. I wasn't expecting there to be much colour in the sky and I mean there wasn't really but right at that last moment before or as the sun was popping out over the horizon we got a few nice clouds around the, the lighthouse just being illuminated by it and causing some colour to be had in this landscape and as the tide is quite far out right now we're getting really nice reflections of that colour also on the wet sand which is just lovely. Now the sun is quite harsh because it's risen quite high above the horizon and what I like to do at this point is look behind me and look at the light that's happening over here again. I actually think this morning and what I was teaching last night in my workshop is when you have a nice clear sky, although it's great to get outdoors to embrace it and it's really nice weather to be out with your camera, you're not always going to get that fiery beautiful sunset or sunrise that you're wanting. But when you've got conditions like this, when you look at the 180 degrees, so turn your back to the sunset or sunrise, they soften where a lot of the moody light and interesting light happens. We're just kind of improving this morning with those moon shots at the start of the video. And now, if you look behind me, it's nice and moody and interesting over here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus more on photographing this side of things. And once the sun has got higher in the sky and it starts to cast over the sand dunes and we get that nice orange glow, I'm then going to head back up there and try and get some images there with that nice light on the sands. But this morning is just stunning and this is one of the reasons why I love the Murray Coast so much. It's a fantastic place to shoot the sunrise and the sunset and it's just... Words fail me, this is beautiful. So beautiful. And I've pretty much had this beach to myself this morning, just with a few people out for an early morning walk. But on the whole, there's only been a few people here and it's just... Just look at this vast expanse. Absolutely stunning.
It is so beautiful when you're at a coastal location like this at golden hour and you get that golden light on all the, the grasses and dunes that are around you. The contrast and the colour and saturation that that can produce is just stunning. And this is one of the reasons why I love the Murray Coast so much. There's so many beaches here, so many beautiful coastal locations, so many dune systems. And when you're up early in the morning or out in the evening and the light is like this, it's just, to me, I can't explain what being out in conditions like this does to me. It's I find it so uplifting, so rewarding, so beautiful and almost mesmerising in many ways. And what I've done is out on the horizon over here, we've got a house, we've also got an old Coast Guard lookout tower and I'm framing them in the top right hand side of my image with some of these marum grass and dunes that are lit up by that golden light just sort of allowing the viewer's eye to go into it. I've taken a few landscape shots of that and I've also included some of this old fence on the left hand side to add some interest and depth. But I'm now gonna do some portrait orientation shots on the path itself, just to get something that little bit different. Then I'll compare them, see which one I like the most, but I'll show you both of them because I think they're both different and unique in their own ways and sort of portray this beautiful light and scene in a slightly different way. But it's just stunning. What a beautiful morning. And oh, I love spring so much. I can feel the air getting warmer. Just being out at six o'clock in the morning in this beautiful surroundings, there's nowhere else I'd rather be. Now a few of you beady-eyed photographers out there may notice this morning that I've been raising the central column of my tripod. Now as a general rule, I pretty much never do this because it can make your tripod a lot more unsteady, especially if it's windy. You don't want this to be extended because it gives the wind more opportunity to hit the camera. It's less steady and it's just overall not the best thing to do. But on mornings like this morning where it's reasonably still, it's not such a big issue. But what I'm finding this morning is that I'm trying to single out, especially with this image here, I'm trying to single out some of the old fence posts and try and have a definitive leading line into the scene. And without extending this up, I'm ending up with quite a lot of the, the marum grass and and all the like the dunes and everything just in the foreground of my image which is um, obscuring or going over some of the the fence posts and that that I'm wanting to photograph even with my tripod extended the legs extended as high as it will go so by extending this central column it's allowing my camera to be lifted above some of this foreground grass and just getting rid of some of that distractions from the foreground of the image so that I can really focus in on the parts of the landscape that I want to focus on so yeah general rule of thumb I never use this central column, but on mornings like this morning I am. And in fact, this morning I'm actually breaking a lot of rules that I personally set in my own photography because I'm just finding that in order to get that image, especially when you've got conditions like this, you sometimes just have to break those rules that you may have or those rules that you may have heard and just work with the weather conditions you have. That might sound a bit confusing and I always find when it comes to photography that there's always constricting rules and everything but just because I know some people will probably wonder why my central column has been up this morning, that's been why, so that I can get rid of that distracting foreground and really focus in on what I want to shoot. And as I'm saying that, the light has just has just kicked off once again. So let's just try and get another image of this beautiful scene before that golden light disappears.
Well, I think it's safe to say that on the whole, this morning has been incredibly successful. I might not have got that stunning sunrise that a lot of people would probably go out and try to shoot. You know, there was not that illuminated colours and beautiful clouds and reflections. But what I did have, and I'm incredibly grateful to have, was, you know, when I first arrived, there was the beautiful moon framed against the sand dunes and the beautiful colours that surrounded it. And I then had that slight pocket of colour and light when the sun began to rise above the horizon. Not the photograph I was maybe after in terms of a sunrise, but it was beautiful to witness. And then right at the end there, having that beautiful golden light casting on all the sand dunes and the grass. It was just beautiful and stunning. And I guess the message I want to finish this video on this morning is now that we're into spring, I mean, I know a lot of you don't live in the UK and you live in other parts of the world and you're starting to go into winter, but for all of us here, or wherever you are in the world actually, just get out and embrace whatever season it is with you. But if you are somewhere in this hemisphere and you're just about to go into spring, get out and embrace it because it's a beautiful time of year to get out with your camera and the opportunities that can present themselves to you are second to none. As always, I want to say a huge thank you for watching. There's been quite a lot of hints and tips in this video, so I hope a lot of you have learnt stuff from that. And I really hope that I'll see you all again next time. I've actually no idea where I'm going to be next time. It's all an exciting adventure at the moment with this new Z6 camera that I'm using. But I'm loving it, and I'm loving getting outdoors again and embracing this season. And what a stunning morning to do that.